Hello friends, welcome to my super learning channel. Today I am going to talk about how to use the spreadsheets conditional formatting feature. This is available at the home ribbon and before we get into the details I will briefly explain what my sample data is all about. I have a set of product codes and product names and I have stock for each of those products and price per unit so for example I will mention this in currency format so it will be easy for us to interpret I will just remove the decimal places Okay, so my total cost is this much and I am again going to apply the currency from the Okay. As we discussed, I have the stock quantity and unit and total cost is identified using the product formula. Usually we use a similar formula with as which gives the same result as it is when you use the product function. And this is again the target sale that I am expecting in terms of quantity as well as the amount. Assuming out of the 80 stock quantities and selling 50 this month, then 80 by 1 into 1, which is 80 for the total cost, and on the expected sale part, it is $50. 50 into 1 dollar, it is $50. And I just put it across in a percentage wise. So out of T2 is expected sale divided by actual cost, right? So this gives the percentage, but I just need to apply this percentage. Base. Now we have the raw data a little bit formatted. If we prefer, we can go and use these table styles. But for now, I am just going to apply only the conditional formatting. So if you go to the data bars, there are a lot of features available for filling in the columns with a solid color. So I am picking one of the columns here, and with the data bars. And filling it solid, which shows the graphical representation of the column value and by each cell, so that you can always get the graphical representation of the number. There is another option we have. We go to format cells. Yes. So if you don't want to show that values, but you just want to preserve your graph alone, then you need to type in three semicolons. You click ok the value gets disappeared and then you will see only the graph part and this reversing it just for the sake of 
understand that. Okay. And okay, we talked about how to apply the data graph. Let me also show you some other features. So if you want to give a gradient fill, you can use this. It will be kind of the color with intensity that is supplied. And the color scales also available for which I will pick something else here. Yeah, total cost. And then I go and pick the so what this feature does is it applies the color scales based on the value range. So if it say for example the $80 and $240. So it will split the overall range of numbers into equal parts and then apply the color incrementally. So you could see the $80 which is green and then $240 which is slightly intense, less intense, intense and then $320 is even further and then the color changes when it goes to 400 and then slightly increases to 560, 500, 560 and then 750 is a different color altogether. So that's how this works. The purpose of applying these colors are pretty much visually appealing and then we can easily identify the data just by looking at it. And if we don't want to go for the color scales, there is another set of attributes available, which is called icon sets. You can even represent the same set of values in a different format but with icons. So let me show you something. Yes, I will pick the flag indicators. So you could see the similar flags are okay probably I will pivot that and then show you a similar fashion of what we have done previously instead of applying that color gray into the entire cell it will just prefix the icons but again the same rule applies based on the data it just splits that into equal parts and then defines the color field. Okay. And moving on to so so far we have seen how to apply these colors and there are something called highlighting the cell rules. So why do we need this? This is predominantly kind works kind of a filter that we apply normally using the auto filter or filter options. So I want to highlight the cell, not just filtering out. My data will be retained as it is, but I just want to highlight some of the data based on my criteria. So here I am going to say, if my cell value is greater than 200, then I need to fill that with this color. Let's see. Because out of this value, everything else is greater than 200 so automatically the color gets filled in and just undo in that and then similarly you have other options that you can explore and just one more thing I want to show you This is pretty much useful when you are searching within the text column. So text that contains. You can use the wildcard search. So I am prefixing with question mark and then in. So you could see which are all the text within a cell has the letter E, those lines are get highlighted.
and so so far whatever we have seen are all predefined set of rules how you can do a little bit of customization but when i want to create my own rules i need to go for the new rules so you have lot of rule types read through the description clearly before you apply them so the first options format all cells based on their values this one is the format that applies for the given cell range one so you could see the values that are lesser have the gradient with the low intensity intensity and then as the values range is going up the color gets darker so this gives a very clear demarcation of our data how it appears and people can read out the data because this is a sample spreadsheet where i have 6 to 7 rows right but if you are going for a lots of rows and if you want to do a quick grasp of the data then this feature is pretty much useful for you to get a visual cue about what is the data all about just by using the raw data itself and if you don't want any of these rules you can just go ahead and clear it this is remove all the things and you can create a new rule for it it takes you to the same formatting option and then you can save the rule if you like this session please give a big thumbs up for me and then please share it with your friends and family if you have any comments please ask in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed thanks thanks from super learning channel thank you guys